Rangers of all sorts, uh, including half tracks with 75 millimeter guns put on the top, they were going to be the tank that took on armor. Now it didn't take too long for the Americans to realize that wasn't how battles worked. You can't always have the right type of equipment in the right place at the right time. And they found that some of these Sherman tanks were having to engage enemy vehicles. Early in the war, 75 millimeter, a perfectly good gun for taking on Panzer threes and some of the Panzer fours. It could fire high explosive, it could fire armor piercing. British two pounder guns couldn't do that, so uh, we really liked it. But then, they try to upgrade the armor protection on the front of the vehicles and they upgrade the firepower which in the second tank uh, which is the Mu Mu Tank Museum's M4 tank you can see that it's got a larger gun with a muzzle brake on the end now that's only a millimeter bigger the size of the hole at the end of the barrel it's a 76 millimeter gun as opposed to that first Sherman 75 millimeter but it's a much higher velocity gun. So in other words, the rounds come out the end of that barrel with much more punch behind them. And because of that extra firepower, it can penetrate more armor. And again, uh, in the uh, Western Allied nations in the Second World War, we also had access, access to tungsten, and we could make that Sherman with a 76 millimeter gun to fire what we call Abcat or high velocity uh, packed ammunition which could penetrate thicker armour uh, on things like the Panther tank as well. Hellcat's got a 70mm gun on it, thin armour, open top turret, very very fast. In fact it's one of the fastest tanks of the Second World War. Whole idea again as we were saying there if you're speedy the idea was you got to where the enemy tanks were quickly laid uh, an ambush for them, engaged them with your 70mm gun and then backed off quickly using your speed to get out of trouble. Uh, again, as I said earlier, it was a good theory but uh, really it didn't always work in practice. Uh, but the Hellcat of all the American tank destroyers, they had the M10 with uh, a 3 inch power on it, um, which we converted, put our 17 pounders on, called it Achilles in British Army Service. They, they all of them, um, they did see action in the Second World War, but not always in the way they were originally intended. Now the, uh, the Hellcat was driving around, that one's a privately owned vehicle. Um, it's got a, it's a, this particular one made in 43 by Buick, and you can hear that Continental Air Force radio in the back. Because it's a lightly armoured vehicle, it can whip around the battlefield very, very quickly. Uh, the Americans, one of the 